now never one to fall behind with the latest trends. Phil Vickery <laughs> has a very colourful and very tasty <laughs> dish that you might have seen on your social media. Remind us what this is called. Texas caviar. Here we are. Oh, it's, um, it's all sorts of different names for it, really. But there's a chef called Naima Marcus and Helen Corbett in 1940 produced this thing. Now, it, it's not necessarily Mexican. It's a bit Tex-Mex, which is a bit between the both, mm -hmm. really. And it's become a bit of a TikTok thing, which I don't have to say I don't watch TikTok very often, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I have, I have far more better things to do than that. However, <laughs> um, on this show, sometimes we just have to embrace those you things. You do. So here's my version of it. <laughs> Here it is. It's very, very simple. So it's just basically a, a, a salsa-type idea, as the chicken would come on to, with a salad there. Now, the thing about this is it uses cans and also raw vegetables. But the dressing is essential, and that acidity of the dressing breaks down the vegetables, the rawness. So right. if you can make it now, I'll go through it now with you, and I'll show you what I made earlier, and you can see the difference in the flavour. You carry on. I can okay. already tell I can eat bowls of this stuff. Yeah. Mm. It's really tasty. The thing about a salad is it's got to taste good. If it doesn't taste yes. good, forget it, you, just, you won't even bother with it. But it needs, it needs re-seasoning as it goes through, it's marinating. So, ripe tomatoes. Golden rule about tomatoes like strawberries. Pick them up, they smell good, they're going to taste good. If they don't smell anything, the chances are they won't taste them anything. Black eyed peas go in, out of a can, and I've got black, sorry, black peas. So I'll start again. Black beans, <laughs> black eyed beans, I should say. You can put peas in. Sweet corn, now this is canned sweet corn, you can use frozen, or you can also use fresh off the cob, which you can then shave off with a knife and roast it or right. pan fry it. Gives it a nice flavour. In that goes. Red onion or white onion or spring onion, it's up to you to give that sort of piquancy to it. So now I do put red pepper in. Yellow pepper, green pepper, orange peppers makes a difference. <laughs> okay, pepper. Red lorry, yellow lorry, lorry, red lorry, yellow you, lorry. We had this conversation. Uh -huh. If you were, um, if you're blindfolded, could you tell the difference between a red pepper and a green pepper? And I don't think you probably could actually. I yeah. think I could. That's what Holly said. But Did she? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't believe it for a word, but we're going to try it anyway. <laughs> Next time we're on together, we'll do that. We'll test it. Yeah. Because green's a bit more sour. Red's quite sweet. So is yellow. Is it? Oh, mm. is it? Well, yeah, I, I think so. No, is it not? No. I Let's like not forget you like the smell of a pavement. I, this is yeah, a very I'm fair pavement. point you make. It's a very fair point. <laughs> right, moving on <laughs> from pavements. Um, this is jalapeno. Uh, this is pickled jalapeno. You've got them in the jar there. Mm. You can use fresh ones. If you can use fresh ones, they're, they're quite pokey, so be careful. We love I quite like the, um, yeah, I do. the bottled the ones, the mm -hmm. vinegared ones. Avocado goes in as well. Again, it's pretty much what you want to do. It's up to you. I like ripe avocado. Breaks down. Gives a nice sort of um, oily texture to the dish where you'll mm. taste in there. Mix that up like that, and then you add a dressing to it. The dressing's very simple. Here I've got olive oil, and here's the kicker lime juice or vinegar, sherry vinegar, white wine vinegar, red wine vinegar, which was in the original recipe, will break down the rawness of the vegetables. So I put juice of four limes. Okay. Looks like a lot, but it's a big bowl full. Yeah. To that, add a little bit of uh, 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 paprika, a little bit of chili powder, don't go mad. A little bit of ground cumin, again, don't go mad. You should use them like salt and pepper. All spices get overused in my, in my view. Chefs just chuck them in, I have no idea what they're going to taste like. Turmeric's another one, overpowers everything. So use them very carefully. Right. And then runny honey, probably about four tablespoons just to, just to balance that acidity from the lime juice. Okay. Okay, mix it up like that. Literally pop it over your veg, mix it up. Oh yeah, you're right, it does. It it looks like a lot, but actually it soaks it up nice. It does. Yeah. And I've just got a bit of coriander here, which I love fresh coriander. Me too. I don't even bother really um, chopping it, I sort of rip it up it's and put it on top. It's got a Marmite herb, isn't it? Because yes. I adore it. One yes. of my best friends, Fran, if she oh. even, like, a tiny bit of it goes in her tongue, she is, like, ready to... Whoa! Yeah. It Look. takes the kick out of anything spicy, though, doesn't it, coriander? It can do. It yeah. can do. But, but as Rochelle says, it, it will mask every other flavour. You've got to be slightly oh, careful. Yeah. I love it, personally. Yeah, me really too, me well. too. But I worked with a guy once who absolutely hated it. It was a Frenchman. He called it, uh, what did he call it? He called it gasoline. Oh, really? It smells, it smells <laughs> like gasoline. That's what he called it. Smell like gasoline. <laughs> there we are. Anyway, so that's your salad. Now, to go with that, I've got a bit of a thing here. These are my Carolina rubbed chicken uh, drumsticks. Now, on here, you can see I've actually chopped the knuckle off there. So when mm. that cooks back, it will come away from the bone. You don't have to do that. It's just purely for me, for, for aesthetic What's purposes. it called, the end? The knock. The knuckle. Oh, the knuckle. Oh, knuckle. Yeah. I don't know why that makes me feel funny. Oh, really? Right. Well, we, yeah, well, I even took it out of your do you know, what, do you know, Phil is very, very good, because he knows me now. Look, this is how it's supposed to come, what Fern's <laughs> eating. Um, 
I have children's chicken over here. <laughs> <laughs> but I do really appreciate that. Oh, my pleasure. I can't now, do it on the bone. So here's the rub. Here's a mixture of all sorts of things in here. I've got mustard, I've got cumin, I've got smoked paprika, chilli powder, a celery salt, dried garlic, sugar, salt and pepper. And you make a rub, a bit short of time on that one, spread it all over your chicken and just sauté them in a pan. You don't need to put the oven on, as I said earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, very low heat, OK? There's enough moisture in that chicken to cook it. So I've, th these are actually... There you go. That's 20 to 25 minutes later. Oh, wow. That's the colour. Wow. So that's fine. Now, going back to the salad, here's the one that I made earlier to show you. But you'll see the difference in the colour there. Look at how that's broken down. Oh, oh yes. yes. Definitely see that yes. flavour. Mm -hmm. And just quickly, here's the latest trend. Flour tortilla. And you've all got a masa, which is a corn tortilla. OK, go back to your chicken, which is now cooked. Go oh, into there. And then you put the whole thing comes out like that. Man's a genius. Oh, oh wow. Man's that. a genius. Oh. And Thank I can do you, it for friend. you because I know you don't like the bone. Oh, I need, you needn't have done all this special oh, service. Well, I just like to, I like to offer things like that. In it goes. Take it out. Look at that. There's your bone. That's we used to amazing. call them chicken hand grenades, but there you go. See, this is why TikTok's good. Right? And that's it. Yeah. That's genius. This I've is never so done good. that before. I've never but seen no. The great thing is, top of the stove, don't leave the oven on, save electricity. Thank okay. you so much. Absolutely delicious. Now, for all of the details on that recipe and lots more from our This Morning Chefs, head to our free This Morning app.